Good morning, Brookside 7th graders. This is Mrs. Estes. Um, and today I want to start off talking to you about your assignment. So make sure you log into Google Classroom and you will see two assignments put in there for today. Actually, not two assignments, one assignment. And then you will see another link of materials, which has two videos in it. So on the assignment today, I only want you to go and do a first read through the story and then um, answer the guided questions as you go through that first read and then watch the two videos. So you are only reading, answering the guided questions, and that's just to test and make sure that you have a good understanding of what's going on. So it's just for, um, just to check in to make sure you, um, are following along in the story. So it's just a first read today. Um, the two videos, um, one is from Percy Jackson, which I know a lot of people had asked. They wanted to um, watch Percy Jackson. I know sixth grade was reading it and watching the movie. So now we have a chance to read a little bit. And then how does this actually relate to our theme? That's one of the things that I really wanted to talk about. So our theme is how do heroes um, our essential question is, why do people act heroically? Why do people act heroically? That's our essential question. So how does this all tie into why do people act heroically? Well, um, in this video or in this little story, Theseus and the Minotaur, it does show how Theseus risked his life to save the lives of his people. So when we talk about the essential question, we act heroically so we can help others who are being treated unjustly. And this kind of hits home, and I think this is so relevant to all of you guys, because all of you guys are like people that stand up for people who are being treated unjustly. I mean, the word I always heard was favoritism, favoritism. Ms. Zestings, you have favoritism. So again, favoritism is somebody being feeling like they're being treated unjustly. So this definitely ties into um, how you guys personally feel about being treated unjustly. And it ties into our whole theme of why do people act heroically? And um, so we'll continue to see that in the story. As we go through the week, we are going to do three close reads. That's usually what we do in class. So each time we'll do more things like we'll do the assessment, then we'll do the discussion questions, probably have a big discussion in Google Classroom with each other. Um, but I will slow down the pace of the curriculum a little bit. Um, people have asked me to do that. So um and, and also in class, we always do three reads. So I apologize last week. I was going real quick, giving you guys a lot of work, but I'm going to slow the pace down just a little bit. I think that'll be more familiar. All right, next, I have a whole list of stuff. I'm looking down at my computer um, as I talk to you guys. Okay, so next, um, if you need to reach me, you can reach me through the comments. Marcus asked, um, was I responding to his comment? I'm trying to respond to all the comments I thought that I had, but I'll double check. Or you can email me. You guys know my email address. And if you email me, please leave me a phone number. If you have a cell phone, leave me your cell phone number where I can call or text you back. If you leave a comment um, in the comment section of our Google Classroom, that'll work too. I am going right on there and replying to the individual comments. But if it's something personal, um, just go ahead and email me. Okay, lastly, on Friday, you were to go through and um, answer the, the Google Classroom form or the, Google, the form in Google Classroom. And I just want to answer, I had a lot of really good questions and I wanted to go through and answer some of them. All right, so I have one question which said, someone wants me to unmute them in Google Classroom so that they can make public comments. Well, thank you for that. Um, I will have some assignments where you can make public comments. You shouldn't be muted like overall. Unfortunately, I don't know who actually sent that. I thought that I would know individually who, whose form was whose by your um, email or whatever. It did not show me that. Uh, so I don't know who wrote what. So whoever that is that feels that they are muted in um, public comments, go ahead, again, shoot me an email 
or just put your name in the public comments and then I can tell. Or no, you can't public comment. Sorry. Okay, send me an email. All right, next. You still have not answered my question, Marcus. Okay, Marcus, like I said, I think I answered questions. If I did not answer the question, email it to me directly. Give me your cell phone number. I know sometimes you have your cell phone taken, but if you have your cell phone, email it. Or ask your dad if you can email me real quick. Or um, if I text you back, that you can read your text messages. Stay out of trouble, kids. Don't get your cell phone taken. This is not a time you want to have your cell phone taken. And we can't really do too much, so you should not be in trouble. Stay out of trouble. I love you guys, but stay out of trouble. All right, next. Somebody says, W-Y-D. Guess what? I know what that means. It means, what you doing? Oh, not too much. Um... What am I doing? Ordering too much stuff online. Have not ordered any new hair, though. I know you guys always wonder, and you're concerned about me, my expenses. So, no, I haven't ordered any new hair this week. Um, what else? Um, somebody just needs help in general. Again, if you could be a little bit more specific, um, I will try to, you know, reach out to you. Maybe we could talk on the phone, and I could try to help you a little bit more specifically. Um, one, somebody wanted me to slow down a little bit. They said in the assignments, um, this is way more complicated than school. It is guys. We're all navigating through this together. It is more complicated than school. You know, I, I too love one-on-one, um, one-on-one -on -one assessment or one-on-one -on -one help. So this is also a struggle for me because I love seeing y'all in person. You know, I give hugs like every day. I get loved on. I love on you guys. So it's hard for me as well. So I get it, guys. But we'll get through this, you know. Um, all things come to an end. So it won't be forever. All right, next. When do you think we'll be coming back to school? Because, um, what did you say? Oh, because I don't really like this learning from home. I like it better when we're at school. We got to learn lessons up front in person. Again, I know, guys. I miss y'all, too. And I do think it's easier, too, when I can ask questions one-on-one. -on -one. So remember, I'm in my last grad class um, as well. And all my classes are online now, too. So I can't see my instructor either. So I'm in this with you. I'm in the trenches, people. All right, last how you feeling and be safe? Oh, don't know who that's from, but I'm feeling good. I'm not coughing. <coughs> oh, no. I mean, I'm not coughing. That was a joke. Okay, not coughing. No fever. No temperature. I'm staying healthy. I'm eating pretty well. I just don't buy any snacks in the house, so I'm eating pretty well. I'm trying to, Kylie and I went for, well, we're supposed to go for a walk. Don't tell her dad. But we're supposed to go for a walk in the park yesterday, but I actually let her drive around the parking lot, and then I let her drive from the park home. If any of your parents are police officers, do not tell. That's our secret, okay? Thank you. All right, so I didn't actually exercise, but I let Kylie drive, and we were in the park. But I do do my yoga every day. Okay, next. Um... How do I get my ELA and homeroom grade up? Okay, how do you get your ELA and homeroom grade up? Well, do the work. Um, we're not grading homeroom. This is a whole brand new um, quarter. So the grades from last quarter, it's too late to get those up. But this is brand new. You have a new chance, new slate. Just get the work done. I'm slowing it down so everybody can catch up and stay on pace. So just do it. Lastly, somebody's hotspot is not working. Um, if your hotspot is not working, your parents have a form that Mr. Ophill sent out like a couple weeks ago. So um, you can use that form, let them know your hotspot's not working. It could, it needs to get charged, guys. So make sure you're charging that hotspot up. So that could be the reason. If it's still not working, again, shoot me an email. If you have a cell phone or your parent has a cell phone, leave me the cell phone number, how to text you guys or give you a call back. All right. Looks like that's it. This is one of my longest videos ever, so I'm not going to include a joke of the day. I know you guys are going to miss that. Quazel, I wasn't all that corny. It was really funny. Thank you, Geneva, for appreciating my humor. All right. Love you guys. Mwah, 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 mwah. And I will talk to you tomorrow.